Black Lightning, Tuesdays at 9, 8 central on The CW. Man, there's so much to unpack with this one right here. So many surprises from the left and the right in all directions that I wasn't expecting. So how did I feel about the episode? Well, let's get into it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash recap for Black Lightning episode number two titled Lawanda, the Book of Hope. I really do appreciate it. But before we get into this recap, help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button. Also click the bell so you can be notified when I make uploads and give me that thumbs up. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. So now we have episode two of Black Lightning. If you saw my recap for the past video, I really did um, enjoy the first episode. I really did enjoy that episode. I was crapping on the show at first, but that first episode really did surprise me. And I can honestly say that I'm a fan right now. And as far as the CW is concerning, this is, you know, up there with Flash for me as far as entertainment is concerned. You know, I'm really am liking this, uh, this season so far. And I really did like LaWanda episode two just as much as I did episode one. Now, it starts out, you know, pretty much a shocker to me um, just because like, it, for me, I really did like at the very beginning of the episode how we saw that uh, Jefferson uh, Pierce, the principal, Black Lightning, he's hurt. You know, he's moaning, he's groaning, uh, he, he's, you know, waking up in the middle of the night, going to the bathroom. And we really don't, I, I don't really know what's going on with his powers. Like, he's hurt right now. I couldn't tell if he was trying to challenge, no, ch not challenge, channel that energy through his body to heal himself, or that's just kind of how his body reacts to pain. But one, early on in the episode, it was really, uh, it was really nice to see that you had this strong black man with this strong black woman, and that she was just down for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just love seeing black love on the screen you know that that just does something for me so just to see him on the bathroom floor and you know his his ex-wife you know the the mother of his children you know coming over to him just like hey baby i got you like that's just what's up and sometimes as a black man you know it's just the little things can make us feel better is just knowing that we have a woman behind us and that's just really just like what made him feel better and so you know, like um, something like, you know, something else that really shocked me, too, is like if you look at all the other CW shows, um, they're not just necessarily as violent. Like the Flash is not like a violent show. Um, they really don't kill anybody. I don't watch Supergirl anymore and I don't watch Legends of Tomorrow, but they don't really kill that much on that show. But Arrow, you know, they do kill people here and there. I kind of stopped watching that show like in season three or season four. But in this show, uh, Black Lightning, they kill people. They shoot people in the head, shoot them in the chest, show little uh, blood splatters here and there. And, I, you know, that's like, whoa, you know, like. You know, I'm, I just wasn't expecting that. So that just kind of adds, um, that just kind of, you know, adds, you know, some heat to the show. And that's just just another thing that I wasn't expecting. Um, another great scene that I really did appreciate was at the gym where he's just trying to calm everybody down. Um, uh, Jefferson Pierce, Black Lightning, just talking about how um, everything is calmed down. You know, the violence is over. They shut down the motel and people are like, no, 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 nothing is shut down. Like LaWanda herself, she's like, you know, hey, you know, my daughter is still missing and and, and Pierce is just like, you know, no, no, everything is OK. And, you know, the whole motel is shut down and she's like, no. And they're dropping quotes. And that whole scene really did speak to me because how it relates over into the real life is there's a lot of uh, injustices in the world, but especially in America right now. And that's what I can speak of. And black people, especially, we're just like tired of all the speeches and the quotes and just, you know, be good. You know, you work hard, you overcome and no. People are start really just getting killed and people bring up Martin Luther King all the time. And so that's what Jefferson Pierce did. He brought up that Martin Luther King. I, did I say Martin Luther King poem? I meant Martin Luther King quote. And uh, he said it and that guy stood up talking about, man, we're tired of quotes. And Jefferson Pierce said something else. I was like, man, no matter what, they still shot Martin Luther King in the head. And, you know, that's how we feel. It's like, you know, like that just really like uh, that really just touched me or whatever. I, you know, that that did something to me that I really did like. Tobias, the uh, the black man albino, he is showing himself to be um, a great villain. Latavius, aka Lala, he's a great villain as well. But we see that you know he has somebody over him. Of course, he has his arm in like a sling because uh, Tobias shot him in the in the shoulder with the uh, harpoon. Like who just carried, who just has a harpoon, you know, on his uh, at their desk. And I really, it was kind of funny. I started laughing when he was like, you know, this bootleg black lightning or whatever. That was just kind of funny to me. 
and he was just saying, yeah, we're going to get all these darkies. And that also spoke to me because he is black, but he's an albino. And Latavius, oh, excuse me, uh, Lala was just kind of saying like, man, dude, you really don't like black people. He was like, no, nah, I do like black people. I just like, I just don't like ignorant uh, or arrogant scratch where it does an itch um negroes something like i can't remember the line exactly i'm paraphrasing but he said you know stop acting like some uh some free some free made slaves and you know i'm not going to jump to that but like just, just all these little details or whatever that the black community knows and can somewhat identify i you know it's just really exciting i'm, I'm kind of just like watching you know um the show like this uh, we also got to see Anissa. Uh, you know, she has a girlfriend. You know, she was looking good, laying in bed with a girl. They were both fine as hell. I wish I could be there in between them both. No, I, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, you know, we also got, um, I think, I, I don't know if I'm jumping around, but I really do understand the frustration from Jefferson Pierce. Like, you know, he doesn't want, he he wants this to be happy early on in the episode and li live a normal life, right? Um, and he lost his wife for it, but there's still like a connection there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when they was in the bathroom floor kissing and stuff, I was like, all right, yeah. You know, they're going to get back together. But when he was walking um, in through the hallway of the school with the police chief, the police was making some good points. Like, look, man, you know, La La Latavius, he wasn't there in the motel. And, you know, Black Lives, like, what are you talking about? It's like, we got, look, we didn't see him there. We have 15 people to say that he was at a party. You know, um, if we uh, if if we arrest him, you know, the girls are going to say that they're there. They're not there on their own will. And even if we arrest them, when we get back, when they get out, they're just going to go back to them. It's not only their bodies that are enslaved, but their minds. And that really just spoke to me. And he was just Black Lightning Jefferson Pierce was just so frustrated doing the scene, talking about how did uh, my, uh, Will get away? You know, he almost uh, he almost ratted on himself right there, talking about how he knew about, you know, falling from a two story, but he had to catch himself, um, you know. But I, I, I like that as well. Uh, something else that, you know, they did really well. I can't believe that Lala had the little boy working for him, you know, going over with the gun at the house and spraying the red paint. You know, Jennifer, the younger sister. Uh, the younger daughter of Black Lightning of Jefferson Pierce and his uh, wife Lynn, she did a, she was acting her ass off right there in that scene. She really did look scared. She looked shook. And how good are those cops if somebody can just walk up? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if that was a real gun? They sorry as hell. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're supposed to protect people. I know it was just a little boy, but, you know, I'm not a cop. I don't know protocol, but I was just kind of like thinking about that. Just like, you know, man, what's going on? But the, this is the first thing that I didn't like the episode because it wasn't perfect, but I still loved it. Of course, Jefferson Pierce Black Lightning is pissed off about this. So he goes over to La La's camp or whatever with the boot. Uh, he said, hey, you coming to the ghetto Circus Soleil when they got the four wheelers and the and the, uh, and the dirt bikes, you're going around the parking lot. And then they have all the kids there as well. Well, th th he's two little goons that protect La La. When he tried to step up like, hey, you know, when he made that threat, hey, leave my family alone. He's like, no, what, what you going to do? And he tried to step up. Those two little small black dudes that tried to step up, one of them is like, one of them is like uh, light skin. The other one is like a blaze and like black and Asian or whatever. Tell me, leaning out, looking at him, not like this. Like, dude, no, you're acting as trash. They should have got somebody else that was like either the same size as uh as jefferson pierce or you know bigger but you got these two skinny dudes or whatever trying to look tough one dude had his uh button down shirt tied around his waist like who does that you know what i'm saying you're not tough i, I don't know what you know and you look soft like that's what they used to do in the 80s and 90s like no and then the other dude had a shiny red backpack on with both straps like, come on, man. Really? Don't nobody. I mean, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, get no, uh, enforcing the stereotype talking about, oh, you don't look cool if you got both straps around. But no, if you're trying to portray yourself as a goon, a tough guy, somebody that's going to blow somebody's heads off, but you got your button down, uh, flannel, uh, woven shirt wrapped around your waist and the other dude got the backpack on looking like, you know, he Dexter or something like that. No. And then he going to punch him in the stomach and punch it like, uh, and they put a gun. You got kids around. You know, I, I liked everything about that scene up until that point right there because that really just kind of showed that Lala is somebody not to be messed with. And I'm like, damn, he really will kill somebody. And then what happened? He really did end up killing Will. I was like, oh, snap. Like, this show is serious or whatever. They they just, they're not effing around or whatever. So, you know, I, I really did like that. He shot him in the back of the head. 
put him in the car. Um, and so I was like, wow, you know, that's uh, that's pretty crazy. La la Latavius is not somebody to be, uh, you know, messed with. And, you know, yeah, that just that's really what, you know, when I met when I made the intro to this video, that's kind of one of the things where I was saying, oh, so many surprises, you know, in this uh, in this episode right here. And just kind of just shows how serious they are taking things. But it's something that I like, you know, that there, there are stakes. People will die. And I, I'll get to the other deaths later on. Uh, I was about to say there's spoilers in this video, but of course you and watching 10 minutes now, you know, there's spoilers. Um, now, Jennifer, the, the youngest sister, I'm going to talk about her for a second. Uh, she's kind of getting on my nerve a little bit, trying to rebel. Uh, you know, just trying to, I mean, the first episode, she's like, oh, I want to party. Yeah. You know, and go to the club and do, all, you know, I'm like party. Yeah. What kind of imitation was that? But, you know, she rebelling. She, you know, she almost got, um, she, you know, she, she almost got turned, they almost turned her into a trick. You know, her dad, um, had to come save her. And now she's out there on the roof smoking cigarettes and stuff. I'm like, that, that doesn't even fit your character. You know, if it was, I don't know if it was weed or something like that, but it, I, I just like, wasn't buying that. Like, I, I want to go outside and smoke a cigarette. You know, I know you're stressed. I know you were shook up, but I don't remember the guy's name. It was kind of innocent and sweet and kind of corny or whatever. And he was like, yeah, you know, I really like you and I want you to be my girlfriend. And, you know, that, that, I can't get mad. You know, he's shooting his shot. You know, Jennifer is a cute girl. Uh, her real name is China. So, you know, that was cool right there. But then we got Jennifer, you know, drinking later. Oh, yeah, YOLO. You only live once, you know, drinking in school and. And, and drinking when the dude was running in the in the uh, in the gym or whatever in the workout facility, I'm just like, stop! What are you doing? You acting crazy. I understand that you shook up, but I don't know. I just really wasn't feeling that. Now I'm glad her new newly found boyfriend uh, was able to speak some sense into her. Uh, you know, but other than that, and then the thing at the the, the ghetto circus circus delay, those are really the only things that annoy me. But something that I did like as well is a soundtrack. They are dropping all these old school R&B uh, jazz songs. I know I'm loving it all, especially the very first episode where Pierce was in the bathroom. I, I forgot the words of the song, but it really I do remember. Uh, I do remember you just uh, matching the words with the song. And I'm just like, man, they are really doing it right here. And, you know, I'm loving all this. Uh, something else that I was really laughing at was when Pierce was at school and he came back and he was in his office and that other black administrator or teacher or counselor came in she was like hey you know how's everything he's like everything fine you know he playing it cool he's like okay well how are you doing you know and he's like you know i'm good and you know it's like well hey you know i know everybody i know you're taking care of everything but i just want to make sure that everybody is taking care of you or whatever so if you need anything you know i'll help he kind of looking like say like, well, what's up now are you shooting your shot you know but she fine though and i know like real quick i know pierce is like i know black lockman is like man if we didn't work together at the school and I, didn't have, I wasn't trying to get back with my ex-wife, I would be more than happy to wax that ass. I know that's what he was thinking, but of course he can't, he can't mess stuff up with the mother of his children, his ex-wife. And, you know, they all working together, but she was shooting her shot and I'm not mad at him. I'm not mad at her for that. You know what I'm saying? They look like they would be a good couple, but he kind of already taken, but I just kind of found that funny because like, look, he was like, oh, 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 oh wait a minute. What, what you trying to say now? You know, maybe in the next life or something like that, but you know. Um, but of course the main episode, I want to say this for last was Lawanda. Uh, she was in the most pain. Uh, you know, they had that scene at the very beginning time, but I understand, you know, why is it that black lightning saved your girls, but didn't say nobody else. And it's like, dang. And you know, she was crying, talking about, uh, her at, at the time she had her daughter. What was the name of her daughter? I wrote it down. Shaquandalin, I think was the name. Shaquandalin. Her name was Lawanda and her daughter's name is Shaquandalin. Um, you know, of course, black, not black lightning, but Latavia's Lala has her at the motel. And she was like, look, I understand everybody got to fight. They fight. They say they're going to pray for me, but nobody going to fight with me. You know, she said that at the very beginning of the gymnasium, she was crying. Um, you know, she was really feeling bad when the, the father of her daughter, uh, I think he was in the armed forces serving the country. And, you know, he passed away, died and killed in action. KIA. And she was like, all they did was gave a folded flag and, you know, shot some guns in the air. You know, and uh, the cop, when he stopped at the house or whatever, the detective just said, you know, hey, is Lynn still in there? And they was rapping. He told her that LaWanda was at the motel. And he's like, oh, no, she's going to get killed. And I'm like, oh, no, LaWanda, you can't do that. And 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 and, um, and Pierce goes and like, what are you doing? 
And she just still making valid points on my man. If your daughters was in this situation, would you do everything to uh, wouldn't you do everything to make sure that they were OK? Are you just going to say F them and leave them alone? And Pierce couldn't say nothing. But so it but sit there. And so it's just like I really liked it. Everybody. What I'm really liking about this show, other than it's predominantly black. Is that you see both sides on every argument? Like for real, what is the other guy named uh, Peter Gamby? When Lynn and Peter Gamby was in the shop and she was confronting him about whether or not Black Lightning, like he has some valid points too. You, you know, like Lynn has a very valid point of why she wants to leave. Like you don't want your husband, the, you know, about to die, and you got these little girls and you got to leave them alone. That's just too much stress. I completely understand where she is coming from. You know what I'm saying? I do. I, it sucks that she had to leave, but I understand. And it's just crazy. That they still have the love there. And so when she was bringing that, that point back to Gamby in the shop, the guy that makes his films, uh, what's his name? James Remar, right? Or, uh, Remar. I, I like him a lot. Actually, he's a small time actor, but I like him a lot. He was He was like, she was like, he was happy. Uh, no, she was like, you know, you're addicted to the super. He was like, no, he's not addicted. And she was like, yeah, uh, he was addicted to you or whatever. That's why he quit. Made a valid point there. And then she was like, yeah, but, you know, he was happy being just a, a, a normal James Pierce. And he was like, but he's not. I mean, Jefferson Pierce. He's like, but he's not just a normal. Uh, he's not just a normal Jefferson Pierce. He's black lightning. And he can't help it or whatever. And, you know, another good point. And she's like, it looks like you're blaming me. He was like, well, I'm partly am because he was saving the city. Then he stopped. Now it's getting worse. And you blame me just like you blame me now. So he was making some valid points. She made some valid points. He made some valid points. Everybody's making some valid points. So it's like somewhere you got to compromise. So I'm just like, wow. I mean, because I could be sitting there like, why is one character being stupid? Why are they not listening? Why are they not being rational and listening to reason? But that's not the case. Uh, Pierce has a valid point for wanting to quit. Lynn has a valid point for wanting to leave. Um, his younger daughter, uh, Anissa, has a valid point to why she's so uh, political. You know, uh, Gamby has a valid point. The cop, he, the, the detective has a valid point. LaWanda has a valid point. Everybody has valid points. And it's just, that's just, that's just like good writing. That's just good conflict or whatever. That's what gets me excited. It makes me want to come back for more. And then we get the action at the end. Uh, hold on, before I go there. Oh, LaWanda got shot. Uh, I like that she put the video, the phone up in the in the thing, but that was so stupid for her to go up or whatever and just be like, ah, I got you on camera. Yeah, I got you. Like, what do you expect for him to do? I know you're upset. I know you are upset. I know you are, but you could have just stayed in your car. Excuse me, had all the cameras, you know what I'm saying? But you're just going to go up and do that. I'm like, no, sweetie, no. And bam, bam, bam. He shot in the threat chest three times. I'm like, God dang cold-blooded and i'm not trying to be funny and make no joke but i'm just like whoa this is just another thing i wasn't expecting like they just showed it boom 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 it went like off screen they showed the little blood splash i'm like wow this show is real they 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 just don't give a crap and they they killing people you know but she had it on um she had it on uh camera or whatever but you know they had black lightning he i mean he could have snuck into the penthouse building i don't like the fact that he just showed up in the middle of the street he like literally walked into the middle of the street like hey everybody here i am and then gonna walk through there like the action was cool and i liked all that i still don't like the suit but uh i would have preferred it if he snuck into the building or something like that because you know the cops are gonna come you know um so i mean and the mask when he was talking to the people it wasn't it wasn't uh shaded or whatever so you can see his eyes but earlier i liked the jennifer was like hey when black lightning came and rescued us at the motel i like i like the fact that she said when you looked at him it kind of hurt to look at his face so maybe there's some type of device to where if you look at him I mean, maybe he has like something on his goggles to where you look at him. It's like, ah, oh, distorted and it hurts. So people can't really identify him. But he whooped the crap out of Lala. I loved all that. He whooped people up the stairs, shocking people left and right. And um, so that was cool. Uh, you know, the cops came. But the last thing when uh, Tobias came and killed uh la la latavius in jail like i don't know how i feel about that i guess those are crooked cops but couldn't you hire somebody to do that i mean i i i, I kind of respect people that like to do things for themselves but i'm just like i don't know they just seem kind of iffy to me like you know you're gonna get caught or something i, I don't know i mean but i, I just feel he could have got somebody else to kill him but latavius is out of there so now we got tobias is the big bad villain and I was kind of wondering when they caught him on camera, I'm like, well, what else can he do? He's going to be going to jail for life. They got him caught red handed. But, you know, he's dead now. And, you know, um, uh, Tobias is really one of the show. But, guys, you know, I just kind of ran through that whole thing. Uh, I really did enjoy the episode. I love the soundtrack. 
I love uh, that it's all black because I can relate to all the characters. There's so much to relate to within the show, how it transfers over to the real world. Everybody had interesting conflicts back and forth, and that just kind of adds more depth to the show. And I really can't wait till next Tuesday to where I can check it out again. But guys, uh, what did you think about the episode, season one, episode two, Lawanda? The what's the name of the subtitle? The Book of Hope. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. Leave a comment below why. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Go to my website. Check me out there. And also, guys, look me up on social media. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of the screen. And I made it very easy by providing a link to all that good stuff down below. And if you really want to help me, please like my Facebook page. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash recap of Black Lightning Season 1, Episode 2, Lawana, The Book of Hope. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.